Hello my friends, welcome to another video and this time around I'm gonna give you five things that annoy me about the HTC U11. A short disclaimer, I've been using this device for three weeks so um, in these three weeks it's been very hard for me to find some real things, real reasons to dislike this device and uh, unfortunately I didn't find anything uh, important, anything uh, dramatic uh, to say about this device. Still, I did find a couple of things that um, are actually bothering me and uh, my opinion about these things is that uh, they can be easily fixed by HTC with a software update. At least uh, the biggest part uh, if you want the main issues. Reason number one, uh, design. As I've said in uh, my uh, 10 reasons why I consider the HTC U11 to be the greatest underrated smartphone of 2017, design is something uh, subjective first of all, but in the case of the HTC U11, you either love or you either hate this device. When they uh, designed this device, the HTC engineers basically started with the backplate uh, with this uh, liquid glass design language which uh, seemingly combines the Corning Gorilla 5 back with the metal chassis. But unfortunately, after they did a great job, they decided to go on holiday when it came to the front of the device. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't look ugly, but still it's a very uninspiring front uh, for a 2017 flagship model device. It's, uh, it's nothing to, to write home about. It's great, it looks fine, but still they could have done a better job, especially if you talk about the bezels, the overall size of the bezels, especially uh, the upper and the bottom part, which are quite big. This is uh, the first thing that uh, really annoys me about this device. The second thing is uh, still design related and it's about uh, the fingerprint magnet that this device actually is. I've um, had a lot of uh, uh, smartphones made out of glass, but uh, none of them uh, were comparing the HTC U11 in terms of uh, fingerprint uh, and smudges um, that retained you know, on the surface of the device. And as you can see, although I have installed a protective film on the back and also on the front panel of, uh, of my HTC U11, it still attracts like crazy uh, fingerprints and uh, smudges and uh, a lot of dust and uh, whatnot. So, uh, I think they could have improved a bit uh, the design language with, uh, I don't know, treating the glass with, uh, with something in order for it to not retain as much uh, those pesky fingerprints. Reason number three, and don't get me wrong, I love the display of this device, I consider it to be amazing actually, but I did notice something that uh, truly annoys me. And um, this issue, it's uh, probably a hardware issue. When opening white bank backgrounds, such as this one, and I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but if you look at the bottom part right here of the display, you're gonna see some um, shadows uh, casting on the display. Uh, at first, I thought that this is um, pure and simple uh, light bleeding, like it happens on every single other device, especially on PCs or uh, tablets. But it's not light bleeding, I think it's a problem with the screen itself, with the panel, because it gives you the impression that's uh, light bleeding, but when uh, turning to, I don't know, a darker background, you don't see any light bleeding out. So I don't really know what the issue is with uh, the display in this case, Probably it's a manufacturing problem, but uh, I can't give you any more info about this. I just noticed it uh, and I had to, to tell you about this. 
I haven't had the occasion to test other HTC U11 units to see if this is uh, something regular on the device. So um, what can I say? Go to a shop, um, take an uh, HTC U11 in your hand and look out for this, uh, this little annoyance. Because for me it is a bit uh, annoying. Reason number four is related to the camera. And in the camera department, a Lolo camera is excellent in every term and it takes some amazing pictures and videos. I do have one major gripe, and that uh, major gripe has to be related to the 4K video recording. I uh, don't really understand why HTC decided to put a 6 minute cap on video recording in 4K. At the 6 minute mark, the device um, simply uh, stops the video and you have to start all over again. I haven't noticed any overheating issues with this device, especially when filming in 4K. And so um, I don't really understand why they decided to put this 6 minute cap. Because the device and the, the processor, the Snapdragon 835, works really, really flawlessly on the HTC U11 and it does not produce heat, so I don't understand what the reason behind uh, this uh, limitation is. Another gripe still at the camera department is the fact that uh, we get a 16 megapixel uh, selfie camera. And don't get me wrong, it takes a lot. A lot of uh, great shots but in certain scenarios and for example you need to have a lot of natural light to be outdoors in order for this 16 megapixel selfie camera to take uh, the best shot um, otherwise if you change the lighting conditions or scenarios it will not behave as a 16 megapixel uh, camera and that's a pity, because the megapixel count is very high, the aperture is ok, is 2.0, but still um, many times it does not perform as a uh, really 16 megapixel sensor. And don't get me wrong, I don't really use the front facing camera, but for those of you who love uh, taking selfies, I have to mention this. Sometimes it takes amazing shots, sometimes, depending on the lighting conditions, it takes uh, rather poor shots. And uh, another reason related to the camera department is that uh, this time around, the main camera that sits on the back, the 12.4 megapixel uh, camera with f1.75 aperture, sometimes uh, has a tendency on uh, overexposing your shots and I've noticed this a um, couple of times and it's uh, been rather annoying um, for me because I take a lot a lot of pictures with my smartphone so uh, I always have to adjust uh, the exposure settings fortunately there is uh, the pro mode and you can do everything uh, every setting in, uh, in manual but in auto mode, it does tend to sometimes overexpose. Out of 10 times, you're gonna get one or two shots overexposed. So, this is another thing that could be easily fixed with uh, a simple software update from HTC. So, nothing uh, important. And the last reason. And this is a bit annoying, to be honest, is the uh, adaptive brightness mode of this, this, uh, of this uh, smartphone. And what I mean by the, uh, by the adaptive uh, display is uh, that it works uh, like it has a mind of its own. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of light in this room where I'm filming this video. Um, and auto brightness is on and still the panel is not very bright or it reacts uh, very slow to the environmental changes around it in terms of brightness. And I've noticed this in a lot of scenarios at home, at work, um, on the street, um, outside, indoors, no matter what. It, uh, has a it has a tendency 
on uh, reacting very very slow to the brightness uh, levels uh, of the environment and it's pretty annoying because especially at night when you sit in your bed you put up your uh, your uh, smartphone and you want to to check something on the internet i don't know and the display is very bright so you have to always go um, on top and manually adjust the level um, of your brightness and this is annoying very annoying so again this is something that could be fixed with a software update by HTC so these are my uh, five things that uh, annoy me about the HTC U11 after using it for three weeks this is my mainly driver right now um, and it's been really really hard to find uh, something to annoy me about this device I would say that the most annoying thing uh, if I if I were to choose one out of these five would be um, the unaspiring uh, design of the front panel this is the most uh, annoying one other than that this device is simply amazing it simply flies throughout everything it uh, it makes everything that's supposed to make very very uh, nice and easy sometimes I get bored with this device because it simply works and I'm not used to to have a device that simply works because every single time I had a smartphone I would always get uh, some sort of uh, issues or uh, problems or uh, something working or misbehaving and uh, whatnot and this, this time around uh, surprisingly HTC with the U11 has given me a um, an experience like uh, like never before so this is the HTC U11 go ahead on my channel and see my uh, 10 reasons for which I consider this device to be the greatest underrated smartphone of 2017 thank you for watching and as always my friends be safe be good peace